Hi everyone, welcome to Teacher Shirley's channel. Today we are going to learn about Unit 5, Part 2. Our topic for today is Space Exploration. Penerokaan Angkasa Lepas Yikong Tang Xian Space Exploration. By the end of the lesson, pupils are able to give the meaning of the words related to the text, answer the questions given based on the reading text, talk about space exploration in the country. Okay. So students, let's learn about the solar system. Okay, so these are the planets that we have in the new universe. This is the Sun. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These are the planets in the solar system. Okay, now... Let's look at this picture. Who is he? Okay, so this is an astronaut. Angkasa Wan, Yi Kong Ren. What is his job? Okay, so his job is to explore the space. Would you like to be an astronaut? Why? Okay, so this is for you to answer. Okay, now let's read and listen to the blog post. Were your answers from exercise 1 correct? Our questions from exercise 1 is What problems do you think astronauts have with washing and eating when they go to space? A day in the life of an astronaut. Sehari dalam kehidupan seorang angkasawan. Yuharan的意志记. Hi, I am Serena Hughes, and I am an American astronaut on the International Space Station. This is my day. At a.m., I woke up to the sound of one of my favorite songs, Mission Control Center in Houston plays a different song for each crew member every morning. At 15 a.m., I get up and have a wash. We have to transport water from Earth to the space station. This means we can have showers because they use too much water. If we use too much water for washing, we won't have enough to drink. Jadi dekat angkasa lepas, mereka tak boleh mandi sebab air mereka diangkut dari bumi. Jadi mereka kena jimatkan penggunaan air. At 30 am, I have breakfast with the rest of the crew. Today is pancakes. Usually I love pancakes, but nothing tastes very nice in space. Makanan dekat space semuanya rasa tawar sebab mereka tak boleh bergerak dan makanan mereka tetap hari makan makanan yang sama. 9 a.m. I try to fly to my workstation to switch on my computer. Everyone is weightless in space because there is no gravity, no moving around, so moving around is difficult. Mereka semua tak boleh bergerak di angkasa lepas. Jadi, adalah sangat Susah untuk bergerak sebab mereka semua tidak mempunyai berat, tidak ada tarikan grafiki. 1 p.m. It's lunch time and I am hungry. I would love some fresh food but it isn't allowed. If someone eats a banana, the whole space station will smell of bananas. Jadi dia tak boleh makan buah-buahan sebab makanan dekat sana dia dapat, di, uh, dapat dihidu oleh satu orang dalam kapal tu. 2 p.m. Now it's time for some housework. In space, we have to take the rubbish out, just like we do at home. We load it into a spacecraft, which will take it down to Earth. 
Okey, jadi mereka buang sampah dekat spacecraft di mana spacecraft ini akan bawa turun sampah mereka ke bumi. 3 p.m. I spend half an hour on the exercise bike. You don't use your muscles in space because everything is weightless. If I don't do daily exercise, my body will become very weak. Pukul 3, dia bersenam. Sebab kalau tak bersenam, nanti badan mereka akan jadi lemah. 4 p.m. I go to the laboratory to check on an experiment we are doing. We are trying to see if we can grow vegetables in space. Okay, jadi mereka teruskan dengan eksperimen mereka iaitu cuba tanam sayur-sayuran dekat angkasa lepas. 7 p.m. I have dinner. Then I send some emails to my friends and family on earth. They will worry about me if they don't hear from me. Pukul 7 malam mereka dia hantar email kepada kawan-kawan dia. 10 p.m. is bed time. Masa untuk tidur. I get into my sleeping bag and lie down. In my little cabin dalam bilik dia. There will be another day in space tomorrow. Okay, so you can imagine the life in space is very bored. Just like during COVID-19, they are confined at a small, a small place. Okay, the new words in this lesson, astronaut, astronaut. Showers, showers, crew, crew, wetless. Wetless, lot it, lot it, laboratory, laboratory. Okay, now let's try to answer the comprehension questions. Why is it difficult to get from one place to another inside the space station? Okay, why? Here, this is the answer. Everyone is weightless in space because there is no gravity. Okay, so the answer is everyone is weightless. Tak ada berat sebab tak ada tarikan gravity. Where do astronauts send their rubbish? Okay, go and find the keywords rubbish. Where do they send the rubbish? They load it into a spacecraft. Why does Serena do exercise? Okay, I change to she. My change to her. If she doesn't do daily exercise, her body will become very weak. How does Serena communicate with people she knows on earth? How does she communicate? Okay. I change the she. She sent some emails to her friends and family through emails. How does she communicate? Through emails. Okay, so just now we are answering question number one. What problems do you think astronauts have with washing and eating when they go to space? When they are in space, they cannot take showers. Mereka tak boleh mandi. They cannot eat fruits that boleh makan buah-buahan. The International Space Station was built so that people could live and do research in space. It is 345 kilometers from Earth and it takes two days to get to it. It takes around the Earth at a speed, travels around the Earth at a speed of 28,000 kilometers per hour. So it goes round the earth 16 times a day. Okay, how about in Malaysia? Has there been a space exploration mission for your country? Yes. What are the names of some astronauts for your country? Our famous astronaut is Dato Dr. Sheikh Mujafar Shukur Amashri bin Sheikh Mustafa. He was born on 27 July 1972 and he has been to space before. That's all for my lesson today. Remember to click like, share with your friends and subscribe. Bye. See you in the next lesson.